Hello guys and welcome back to the Isle of Wight. I hope you're well and I hope you are enjoying this lovely weather we're having at the moment. Last time round, which was last week, we was blessed by having Press build his own little take on a UK countryside and boy, did he do good. This is some amazing detailing work and if you missed that video, please do check the previous video to this because we had a very good little chat about his build and a a lot of beautiful cinematics such as you're seeing on screen now which really did show off this uh, this beautiful building itself and I think that's where we're going to carry on with today's episode I'm really enjoying this village vibe at the moment the countryside and the side of things really is taking to my liking and I'm really I really feel like I'm improving in terms of how my countryside builds have developed and certainly from the guest builders I'm getting a lot more inspiration and um, ideas to try out myself around the island. So we're gonna carry that on today. Before we do so, a big hello and welcome to the new subscribers. I assume a few of you guys have come over from Prez's channel, so thank you for doing so. And um, anyone who's new, I hope you are enjoying this uh, completely different style, I guess, of City Skylines. Very rural, very countryside, and a lot smaller scale than a lot of others. But what are we doing today? So. This episode is building up to something I'm really excited to build. I'm not going to spoil it today, um, but we're probably two episodes away from this particular build that I am really excited to do. It's something that no one has done at all in this game yet. Not sure how it's going to fulfill itself, not sure if it's going to be able to pull it off, but we will see. But before we do that, let's jump in today's episode. So for today, like I said, we're going to stick with the village theme and we're going to be working on this part of the island. It's um, a little town stroke old village section um, and it's classed in an area called God's Hill and it's a very beautiful location. I've been many, many times and it's almost got like a two tier build to it. There's the older style side of things with the more village sort of houses and um, shops. And then it moves into a bit more of an advanced sort of housing estate. So on screen today, you'll see me mapping out the road layout. I do build a lot of houses today, but I did cut a lot of it out in the video because it was pretty much me just plopping down different houses. But this also did trigger an idea that I had. I know a lot of you guys have been asking questions about uh, how would you lay out towns and how would you make a village look different to a city etc etc and I think I'm going to also use this footage to create a video video of that sort of nature to give you my inspiration my ideas my thoughts of certainly looking around the Isle of Wight into how you can get some realistic UK road layouts because I know it is difficult I've been there before um, and the only way I've really developed my skill set has been looking on Google Maps, it's been research, it's been trial and error. And at the end of the day, it's also down to your imagination. You can make things look realistic, even if they aren't technically realistic, if that makes sense. So it's certainly something to consider. And I will, like I say, work on a little video to um, describe that in a little bit more detail. We'll have a look around a few locations on Google Maps to show that. But in this episode, like I say, we're going to be concentrating mostly on the village town centre or village high street, as you can probably class it, which is um, just below this settlement of houses here. We're just putting in a few extra houses. I've captured some of it because you want to. I want to try and show the layout in this particular area. We're not going to advance up here to this segment, not yet. That's going to be the next episode. And that's going to be quite an interesting one because we're going to be detailing a lot of buildings um, so I need to really establish how we do so. But this area here is what we're concentrating on today. This is the sort of high street, I guess, or high street segment of that. And of course, we need a UK church. We've got a little town hall we've placed down there. There's going to be a little village shop and some pubs. And that's pretty much the basis of what this town high street area, sorry, this high street village centre is going to be all about. And we're going to make it look as villagey as possible but with a bit more of a, a a bit more of a towny look i guess so we're going to try and go between the two whereas obviously with press's last build it was a very rural village build this is going to be village build but with a little bit more oomph about it in terms of um more is happening and whilst on the topic of villages i also want to say again a huge thank you to 
the five competitors of the most recent uh, village build off on the island. It worked so well, I was so pleased. I mean, obviously my first issues were, will everyone be able to run the game successfully? Because I had had some issues before, but I had had some um, support from um, a couple of people regarding that. And it seems to be all good now, which also reminds me that you can now go onto my Patreon and you can download and play the save game as it is today. So what I'm going to do is on the Patreon to tier two and above, I'm going to, every week an episode is released, that episode will have a save game file which will be uploaded onto the Patreon and you guys can then load up and have a look around in a bit more detail or perhaps you want to build on the island. You can also export and import move it um, areas that you perhaps like and want to put into your own build so there's obviously a lot that you can do with these save games and um, I want to also let you guys dive in and have a more closer look because the cinematics that I create you know I sometimes create about 50 different views and um, you can only really use 10 to 15 inside your cinematics otherwise it's a little bit too overkill so certainly consider that if you want to support the channel and uh, get some added benefits with that as well i'm also going to try and upload a few more videos prior to the normal release days which at the moment is a little bit up in the air there's not really a proper committed schedule i'm trying to release videos weekly obviously last week is a huge exception i think four videos went out last week which was amazing um, but I'm not going to be able to keep that up in the long term. But also going back to the village build off again, guys, if you did enjoy it, I know a lot of you did say so, and I've had a few people already ask if they could be part of the next global build off um, or village build off. Sorry. So let me know in the comment section below if you want to do so. Jump into the Discord because that's where everything happens in terms of these special little competitions so jump into that and drop me a message and we will certainly see if we can get the numbers of doing another one probably around the summertime i think that'd be a really cool time to do that but anyway let's get back into what we're doing on screen so you can see we've pretty much just completed the church and i was really pleased to see people using those mac welshman and um, rural paths as well because they just will really work in that particular church graveyard. I've never actually had that work for me. I've never had a church or graveyard where I've actually had it come to life. And, you know, obviously that's not really the best way of putting it when it's a um, graveyard. But you know what I mean? In terms of having people walk around the pathways, etc., it just brings it to life. And uh, really good to see that actually working and people sitting on the benches adds to the cinematics, adds to the realism, adds to the ambiance, so it all works well in self. So on screen again here now you can see we're just detailing this little pub area. Um, I decided to go for a, um, a well a non-functional car park in the sense of just putting some cars down on the, uh, the grass and I basically changed the grass to be gravel, put some decals on and to me that looks really good. It looks like it's a sort of a gravel traditional village car park and not a lot of these car parks will be um, tarmac i mean if it was a chain or so it probably would be but i wanted to give off the more rural vibe by having the the gravel car parking spaces and again adding them car parking spaces adds to the realism of these pubs obviously people are gonna come to pubs and need to park somewhere so that just works again for the realism now this video is particularly a bit later than normal i know normally i release thursday friday and saturday it is today sunday when this has been released and i'm hoping you don't notice too much but the actual um well the actual live play that i've sped up for you is a copy of the youtube video live stream that i did recently and annoyingly the actual proper footage that i record at a very high resolution corrupted on me so I had to resort by taking the YouTube recording um, and trying to upscale it and make it look a little bit better. And you may, you may, you may not notice, but these clips that we're seeing now are not as high quality as they are normally. Don't worry, that's only a one-off, like I say, because of the issues I had. But the cinematics you'll see at the end will be the high quality that you normally expect to see from my videos. So. Apologies if you have noticed and it is a bit annoying for you. It's not too bad for me. I can't tell a huge difference. It just looks like it's not 1080p in that sense. But I wanted to try and work on this little corner here. 
and add it into a little tiny drop-off car park. So this is a small village shop and you tend to see this quite a lot in the villages where they just add a little bit of concrete, put a wall around it and they almost class it like a mini car park but it's not an official car park with you know, car parking lines and spaces and not all that sort of stuff. It's just like a little bit of concrete pathway that the cars have kind of taken over and it's now become a car park whereas perhaps it wasn't before You may be wondering why has this village small town got such a huge car park well there is a few attractions in this location whereby a car park is necessary there's also a little cafe here on the corner again we've taken a lot of inspiration from the actual town that this is based upon which is god's hill um, and residents of the island will know what sort of things are going on here i'm not going to say it because it's going to ruin some ideas i have for future episodes so i'm not going to tell you exactly what's here you can obviously have a look yourself to see if you can work out um, what i might be building in a future episode but i again wanted to try and keep it as realistic as possible um, and this big car park like i said is realistic in the sense of it is here on the island it probably looks a little bit overkill in terms of if you're looking from a bird's eye view with no understanding of this area but this this um small town village area does have a lot of people visit on a regular basis certainly over the summer season it's um certainly a place that people would like to visit if you come to the island and the buildings themselves and the whole look of this area really does look very special and i've been like i say i've been here many times before um i've parked in the car park up here it's a little bit different than what it is um on the island in real life isle of wight so to speak but again we're trying to make things look as realistic as we possibly can within the capacity of the game so i think it works well and this little area here we're next to a, a toilet area as well so i wanted to again to create a non-functional car park just to make it feel a bit more realistic sometimes when you use the um, car parking lots um, they look great, they work great, but they don't quite suit these builds. It's a little bit too clean, too tarmacky. Whereas this area is pretty much just a an old slab of concrete that's slowly <laughs> corroding away, so to speak, in that sense. So that that works for me in this area. Not going to be functional, but does it matter? Not really. Now another thing that we need to really think about moving forward is there's going to be a lot of farmland that we need to place down and you probably notice from Prez's build, his build was quite small in terms of consideration to the farmland around it which isn't a bad thing, it's uh, it's actually what it's like. Um, but what we need to consider here guys and we want to put our heads together together and make a decision of how detailed do we do this, all this farmland around these beautiful villages. Are we going to go heavy? Are we going to just make things a little bit more simple? Just put some sort of bushes around and walls and fences to create the gaps between the fields? Or do we want to spend a lot of time putting down foliage, etc.? 
My thoughts are we detail around the building areas we've done, like for example, where Prez has built his beautiful little village. We can then detail a little bit of the fields around the outskirts and then as it moves further away from the build, it's a little less detailed. Perhaps that is the best way to move forward because we won't be killing ourselves with frames. And obviously, like I said, there's a lot, a lot of farmland to fulfill around this area. You've probably seen it already from the episodes you've already done. Whereas, you know, we've spent a lot of time on farmland and we've not really covered a lot of the island. So I'm thinking maybe we do that as we go or maybe we can spend a single episode just going around and filling in certain parts of the, the island because as you look down from the top view of the island obviously at the moment it's a lot of vast grassland but we have got a lot to still fill in with towns and extra villages etc so let me know your thoughts anyway guys it'd be interesting to know what you're thinking in terms of what we do with the the actual uh, farmland and the rural scene of the island Talking of the rural scene here, I am trying to create a, well, it's meant to be a cricket ground, cricket pitch. Um, obviously, it's not a professional ground. Um, I had looked at the cricket fields on the workshop, but they don't really look too great for my opinion. Um, it wouldn't really suit this area. They're a lot more prop looking as opposed to a field. So I just went for some of the decals around just to mark that sort of rectangular square that's normally a different type of grass and I've kind of actually put down some dirt to make it look a bit more worn, sort of worn out and teared up sort of thing. And I really love these rails. I'm not sure if it's Sparks or Rick that makes these particular ones. I know both of the guys have made their own versions, um, but I thought this one looked really nice. It is a nice wooden color um, but it looks like some of the paints flaking away which works really well for this area because it's not you know I didn't want it to seem too maintained but I didn't want it to look like it was run down so I think that works really well on that corner there and again I had to kind of think of a way to fill out some of this area I didn't want to just leave the standard theme grass I wanted to add some sort of texture in and again we're going back to these beautiful bits of grass by P Delmo um, and they just work so well. It's probably one of my favorite items of ground foliage on the workshop, certainly on the island at the moment that we're working on because we have used this a lot, a lot of times, but it just works. It just, to me, it just screams out UK and just all in all, I just really like the look of it. It really does make the area sort of pop and come to life. The last part that I wanted to work on, as you can see on screen now, is just to sort of detail these front gardens. Um, it's something I noticed that Press did quite a lot. I know in the um, other builds, we saw a lot from um, Rick4000 doing this as well, but it's just creating a almost like front garden, just to separate the pathway to the front of the house, because a lot of these buildings around this segment of the island they have their front door very close to the actual pavement, so they haven't really got front gardens. Whereas these houses I put down had the ability to have something like that and also a bit of a driveway, which is really, really good. Now, you'll see a few in the cinematics where I did actually add a, um, an actual road going from the main road up to the house to create that drop curb look because that, to me, just looks realistic. However, the only difficulty I have with that is every time I add that, because it's a junction, we get another road sign. And it ended up being a 30 mile an hour road sign every house, which is unrealistic to say the least. Now, I have been trying out a few mods to try and remove the actual road signs, but I can't seem to do that. It, for some reason, it's not working. I've tried hide it, I've tried um, one of the other mods in the workshop, I forget the name, but it basically says it's gonna remove all the um, the road signs. So I'm not sure if it is something to do with a conflicted mod. I, I need to look into it a bit more. And if that is the case, if I can resolve it, we can then look to do the drop curb look because Prez did it really well in his build, really liked the look of it. I have done it um, on the island in another few areas where it was possible to do. But all these houses along here, they have small driveways. And as we detail, you see I do put cars in, but it's unrealistic in terms of 
there's no drop curb. You're not gonna be driving your car up these curbs every single day. You're gonna destroy your tires and break something in the car. So I want to look into that because I think that will really make a big difference in terms of the realism. It's not obviously a necessity. We don't have to do it. Um, people probably wouldn't have even noticed that situation if I didn't have if I hadn't mentioned mentioned it so <laughs> we will see it's something that I could look into but if you guys have come across an issue like that or you know a mod that definitely does work with uh, Mac Malshman's roads do let me know but guys that's pretty much it for today's episode I hope you have enjoyed it I'm gonna leave you with a few of the ground level shots here and I think that it really does make a difference when you're looking at the build from a almost first person view really do like that and the detailing really worked out well for me as well i think the combination of the flowers and the bushes here on the corner of this house looks really really good and it's just looking like a village when you're sort of in these views driving up and the foliage i think again works really well so other than that guys i'll leave you with some cinematics thanks for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one Thanks for watching and all the best.